Hey guys, this is Typhorce Reacts, and I'm back to react to Naruto Shippuden, episode 274, the complete Ino Shika Cho formation. So, yeah, what happened last time was that we, um, kind of caught up with, um, Ino, Shikamaru, and Choji, and, like, you know, how they, um, kind of the beginnings of, you know, when they, when they were assigned to their team, and with under Asuma, and how a bit more of um Choji's personality with um how he does how while he is not afraid to throw hands against against enemies like um he is he does not want to hurt his friends under any circumstance it's kind of <clears throat> sorry one of those weird things where where even if it is just a friendly spar and like hurting and hurting your your friend is isn't considered personal or anything he just doesn't want to do it that's the kind of thing so now that he's facing a reanimated Asuma, he doesn't want to hurt Asuma. And this is proving to be quite the issue. So, yeah, um, and the last episode, um, Cliff hangered with, um, Cho Choji, you know, throwing a punch at Asuma, and, like, it, it went to black there, and I'm gonna guess he didn't, he still didn't go through with it, even though Asuma called him fat, because that's what happened in the flashback, too, and Choji still didn't hit him. So, yeah, um... Yeah, Ch Choji, you're you're killing me, man. Like I I I get it. Like it's I I I guess I can see his mindset there, but <sighs> come on, man, <laughs> you're, you're you're killing me here. But yeah, anyway, let's just jump right in. We'll. I'm just pleasantly All right, let's see if he goes through with it. I doubt it. And there we go. All right, then. Oh, oh, those are... Huh. Oh, boy. Okay, that, that, that was, um... Huh. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, probably for the best. Good, good job there, Eno. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, that's actually pretty cool. So either way, they're down a member, but at least at least like yeah. Shikamaro and I don't want to fight him either. But because we know Asuma Sensei better than anyone else, we can stop him with the least risk to the allied forces. I hope they at least pick up that like a that knife that Shikamaro threw because that's Because that's, um, that, that was Asuma's, so <laughs> if he picks that up, now he's got his primary weapon. But I, I just... <sighs> Fire style, burning ash! Oh, great. Choji. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, I get. Yeah, Ch Joseph felt the need to step in. Okay. Now I'm going. I hereby entrust you with my king. Hmm. Wow. That was. That, I gotta say, that was quite a series of events. Like, you know, Asuma's death and, you know, what happens, you know, and what. And, like. Dealing with Asuma's death. That, that was just a really good episode. Well, series of episodes, really, but like, yeah. Yeah, Shikamaru is right, Choji. The middle one is the Nara clans, and the leftmost one is the Yamanaka clans. Okay. Clans that use highly unusual secret ninjutsu. The time my child becomes a genin, until he or she finally achieves chunin status, I am to follow custom and pass on my piercings to him or her. It's a practice that's intended to teach one's child all about the oaths that one day they'll take. Yeah, but I really don't like pains. Hmm. I can feel how this is like one of those really, you know, those allegory, maybe like an allegory for just a war and like, you know, children, I guess, participating in that war. Like, I, I don't know, like it's, I don't really know what to say to, to most of this stuff. It's simply because maybe I just see a bit of myself in Choji. I don't like conflict, really. Then again, 
that it... I mean, sure, he did finally become a Genin, but he always shies away from confrontation. Mm. Like, yeah, Cho Chochi's not afraid to, like, throw a punch for his friends, but I'm... It's not that I'm opposed to fighting, it's just that I can't fight. Chochi will be killed because he's too scared to Like, it's... Like if so, someone points a gun at me, I'm just, I'm just gonna like, ah, t take my, take my wallet, take my keys, take my holographic Charizard. You're a better man than I. You are a kind soul. That is clear to see. But must that butterfly learn to live by borrowing strength from you? Hmm. That, that's actually a re really deep. Do you really think I could get married one day? Hey, what kind of talk is that? You don't? Do you understand why Master Asuma continues to be hard on you? Listen, I was... Yeah, thanks to the Boruto anime. I, I know he does eventually get get married, have a kid, and I, I know who his wife is. I'm watching this episode. All I'm thinking is, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> Consider just... How, how different he is from the from the wife he gets. I know him. Oh yeah, back back in the Chunin exams when he fought that Dosu guy. Even with potato chips, I won't let anyone have the last bite. Yeah, there we go. And and now we got yeah the Sasuke retrieval arc. Like that. At least we don't have to worry about his health. Interesting way to show the flashback through the grainy footage, the shaky cam, and the yeah, the. I don't know if it's possible, but I'll try to. <laughs> so this is it, huh? The war's about to begin. So we seriously have to fight dead people, but what do we do? I'm getting really scared here. Come on, Choji. It's too late to worry about all of that now that you're here. Hmm. Oh man, I'm getting scared. Hold on, you boys better not wimp out on me. I'm sorry. Wow. This is way too much for me. I can't do it. I can't take our sensei down. I just can't. That's enough, Choji. Listen up. Man, I didn't. I didn't realize just. Kind person. Wow. It, it, I guess thanks to the flashbacks, I I now see how kind it was all kind of culminating up to this. Thank you, Eno, and I'm sorry, but I'm okay now. You can go back. I don't know. After the second blunder, you might well, you might want to stand by prepared to do it again. I, Choji Akamichi, swear to transform from a lowly caterpillar to a powerful butterfly! Oh! Fight. Choji! Oh! It's time to change. Thanks for reminding me of the Sasuke retrieval arc, because this is certainly different. Without even using the pills. Huh. Uh, Choji Slimmer. Did he take a pellet like the one he took a long time ago or something? No, he did. In my eye, it looks like the effects of the chili pepper pellet. Is he going to be okay? Yes, he'll be fine. He didn't use the Akimichi clan secret calorie control pellets. He transformed all on his own. Okay. Words, there won't be any side effects at all. Is huh. The of the chrysalis harder than you thought it would be, Choji? But at long last, okay. fly, won't you? If he could just... Huh. Shikamaru, get my back! You got it! Go, Eno, now! Mind transfer clone jutsu! Mind transfer clone jutsu? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, um... My turn. Shadow stitching jutsu! No way for me to counter this one. Very nicely done there, Choji. Oh! <laughs> Here comes the giant fist! Oh! Holy crap! That's what I want to see. 
Okay, he brought him over to you. Do it. <laughs> Hmm. Man, it's reverberating all throughout the battlefield. Like, I know he's giant plus the wings, but holy crap. That fact alone is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm going to end this entire battle right now. Hmm. But I'll need you, Shikamaru and Ino. So please help me out, okay? You've got Joji just took a level in awesome. All right. Practically forever now. I've never seen you take charge like this. Holy crap. All right, that's the end of it. Okay, um... <laughs> gotta say. Yeah, Choji took a level of badass. All right, um... <laughs> very interesting episode. It's... I, I, I guess, like, the one thing, like, I, I just wasn't connecting with with Choji was just, you know, the fact that this whole situation... I felt didn't have a whole lot of buildup to me, but another, but, like, I guess I was just kind of reminded of just, like, um, everything Choji, like, has said prior to this point in this war arc, how, how, yeah, he's been, he's been a bit scared, and, like, and, like, pretty much, yeah, ever since Asuma's death, and just all this kind of stuff that I just didn't really take into consideration until the flashbacks really showed me, so, yeah, that was... That was really good. I, I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, um, is there really anything else I can really say to that? But, like, um, only makes me wonder what, what the heck's gonna happen next now. So, yeah, and, like, and we're, we're showing all these, like, all this new, like, this new stuff. Like, Choji, like, somehow obtaining that butterfly form without one of the red pills. Which, I guess, is a thing that can happen, considering what Choza said about, like, um, how, um... How, like, he, he knew there would be no side effects, so this must have happened, like, at least a few times before. We're probably not gonna get any kind of lore on that, but, yeah, um, yeah, consider, considering, like, yeah, the last time, like, he assumed this form, it was in Sasuke Retrieval Arc, he took the red pill, and it was supposed to be kind of fatal, but they, but they managed to get him, you know, to, to, to a medic in time, but, yeah, um, so I'm just, I'm just kind of wondering like um how how like I don't know like it seems a bit of a Deus Ex Machina to suddenly introduce yeah this oh yeah you remember that old form that it came with a major downside well now it doesn't have a downside it's 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 a weird thing to me but yeah like like I said it, it's still pretty awesome you know with you know how they took care of Osmo like Eno suddenly has a new move called Mind Transfer Clone Jutsu. How the hell does that work? Um, I can't. It's one. It's one of those things where I wish we had gotten more, more attention to other characters, like in previous arcs. Like I know we had an entire arc, like I'm um, dedicated to like Inoshika Cho, like back with the Akatsuki suppression arc with Hidan and Kakazu. But that was more of a Shikamaru arc than it was for the entire team. So. Yeah, it, it yeah, it was most definitely just a Shikamaru arc, considering Eno barely got any attention, Choji barely got any attention. But yeah, it, like I said, Nard it seems like um Kishimoto is kind of throwing literally everything at us all at once. Like it's almost as if like he had a whole bunch of cool ideas but just didn't set a whole lot of them up properly. Um not not that I'm it I I criticize because I care, don't get me wrong. It's just it's just one of, don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying the hell out of Naruto Shippuden, I, I really do love this, it's just, like I said, it seems like he's had a lot of cool ideas, but he just didn't feel like showing them, or building up to them, until this final big war arc, and it, it just would have, a lot of these, this stuff would have had so much more of an impact, if there was just a bit more build up in previous arcs, or just, or just, or just, you know what I mean, right? So yeah, anyway, next time I'm going to be reacting to episode 275, A Message from the Heart. So yeah, who knows what that's going to be about, but yeah, I got nothing else to say, so I'm just going to end the video here. So yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.